Well, welcome back to a mic up or shut up. I'm Chris here with Angie, Bodie, and Reagan, and also our tech guy Reese. Glad you could join us again. We're gonna jump right in with the uh, the blind side. There was some information that came out about that yesterday that Reagan's really interested in. So go ahead and uh, tell us all about yep. it, Reagan. Okay, so Michael Orr, a former NFL football player, is now, I guess, suing his um, not quite adopted family because he's saying that he never was formally adopted by them, but instead they have a conservatorship. And he wants money he is owed from them. They said they were not able to legally adopt him because he was over the age of 18. He says he did not know it was a conservatorship. He thought that was a an actual part of the adoption process. Now, this is what I think about this. First of all, he's supposed to be a really, really smart guy, yet he doesn't figure out that he's not legally adopted till way, way later. That... I don't know, that just bothers me. Uh, secondly, um, if they have total control of all the business decisions he, he makes, then how was he able to make all these different NFL contracts without them signing on the dotted line? So I just think there's a little more to the story. So we'll wait and see what happens with that. But what really, really... Uh, makes me laugh is the fact that people are calling for Sandra Bullock to give back her Oscar because they don't feel like the role she played was true. Mm. And to these idiots, I have to say, um, she's an actress, people. Grow up and get a life because she played a role that was written uh, and she played it beautifully, which is why she won the Oscar. Uh, based on a true story does not mean completely factual. I want to ask you a question. I'm going to address the Sandra Bullock situation. But first I want to ask you, you said that he's known to be a very, very smart guy. And that's completely the opposite of what I would assume that he was. He couldn't even make the grades to get into Ole Miss. He had to have tutors and things over and over again barely made it to get into the parochial school that they were in. Where did you come up with him being super smart? Well, from what I understand is the reason why his grade point average was so low originally was because basically he slipped through the cracks. He wasn't going to school regularly, uh, so he didn't have a really good uh, reading level. And um, people he has played football with uh, in college and in the NFL have said he is a very, very bright guy. So basically, the tutors and all was to catch him up. Okay, well, football IQ is not the same as intelligence. No, I so, no, but they're the saying same. he is intelligent. <laughs> okay. Well, Sandra Bullock was playing, as my brother-in-law Chris told us, that uh, even though it says based on true events, a movie is not a documentary unless it's a documentary. This was a fictional narrative that was based on true events. And it all it has to be is one thing in that the thing can be true, even the basis of the movie itself. It doesn't have to be anything about the movie to be true. So for people to be calling for Sandra Bullock is pure and utter stupidity. She played a part. She pretended to be his mother. That's it. I believe we discussed the intelligence level of the general population yes, in yes. the last episode. True story. But did you also hear that he tried to shake them down for $15 million before he filed the lawsuit the week before? Yeah. But do we really know that? That's well, what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, we do really slinging, know that, actually. They're yeah. slinging mud back and forth. Yeah, right. And yeah. I just, like I said, if, he, if he, you take his side and think he's telling the truth, there's no way because they literally would have had to be in every business decision he made mm -hmm. and there's no way that happened yeah the complaint itself contradicts itself because he says that he entered into a conservatorship so that they could help him make all of his business dealings from the point where he went to college all the way through to the nfl 
He said that's the reason why they did it. And then he came back and said they tricked him by making him think that it was a uh, adoption paperwork. Well, that's not true because you just finished saying that there was a reason why you entered into the conservatorship from the beginning. And now you're saying that you were tricked and you didn't know it was a conservatorship. Which one? Which one is the real truth? The real truth may be somewhere in the middle. We don't know. But I know that he's a former NFL player, no longer in the NFL, no longer has a salary. He made $30 million during his time in the NFL and could very possibly not be as wealthy as he should be. Well, I believe I looked up his uh, net worth is around $15 million. So he's not broke. Right. Yeah, well, he's, his net worth is sixteen to twenty five million dollars yeah. right now. But that's not liquid though. You understand? Right. No, no. Right. That doesn't mean cash on hand. Right. Net well, worth. Well, why doesn't Sandra Bullock as his mom step in and take care of this situation? <laughs> oh, I have an answer for that. Because her partner just died, so she's dealing oh. with that. Oh. Well, she is his mother and shame on her. Yep. Sandra Bullock. I mean, for letting this happen. To yep. You. Well, she chose real life in this instance and is grieving. So, uh, well, you know. I know I know that uh Michael Douglas and Val Kilmer both put aside their own personal situations to go to Africa and kill those lions. <laughs> I remember when they did that. I, they made a documentary right. about it. <laughs> you see you're talking about the public's in, intelligence level again. Yep. And it's we already know that it's not that high. Not that I at all. People are stupid in general. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, based on a true story, that's what I was saying. I mean, like that movie, for example, it says, you know, when you, the narration from the movie says, based on a true story, and even the most amazing things that happened in this are actually true. But that's not true. I mean, the only thing that's really true about that movie is that there were, a, there was a guy, a British guy building a bridge and two lions killed a bunch of people and drank their blood. That's it. I mean, that's about it. There was no Michael Douglas character who went there and helped him to kill it and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, in the movie, they say, oh, these lions uh, are just evil. They're just killing people for the fun of it. That's not true because the part they left out in the movie is that Africa had been in a two-year drought. And so the lions were actually killing people because they were easy to kill. And they were killing them to drink their blood, literally to drink their blood. Oh, but also there's a theory about those two particular lions. They both were had, like, injuries. And they think that they were weak and were unable to hunt alone, so they got together mm. and hunted kind of as a pack in order to survive. Yeah. No, well, maybe. Possibly. So, yeah, I so mean, that's I, just a theory. I do know, say. Well, I'm saying I do, know, I do know for a fact that they were killing people just so they could drink their blood because they didn't have anything else to drink. That is why they were doing it. So those of us that don't know... Y'all are talking now about a completely different, different movie than that the we blind didn't side. even mention. We're the talking about a true of, story. So people talking about like true me story. who are ignorant. The Ghost no and the Darkness. The, the Ghost the and the Darkness. It's the, actually the, a really good movie. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good movie. Really good. I bet Snowflakes think that Val Kilmer got throat cancer because of this movie. PETA, you know. All karma. <laughs> <laughs> well, the lions gave him throat cancer. Yeah. Yeah. No, because he portrayed <laughs> this character and uh, killed all the lions. You sound like the people. <laughs> the lions gave yeah. throat cancer. Yeah. Yes. Paul Karma, he played a character. So the ghost lies. in the dark. That's true. Yep. Yep. I might recommend that one day. No. Not, not no. today. Really? Not did today. you think it was good? Actually, I, it was good. I did enjoy it. Actually, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy I did enjoy the movie. I did enjoy the movie. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Did you like the blind side? I did like the blind side, but I also accepted it for what it was. Right. A movie. Bullshit. Right. Yeah. No. And the reality of said true events had to be embellished for the narrative, right? right. Just like social media and just like media. In, does in real life, as far as I understand, they uh, adopted him when he was in his senior year. They didn't adopt him. Or, or yeah, yeah, excuse me, no, no, they didn't adopt him. Yeah, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They he didn't adopt him in his senior year. So they pretended to adopt him in his senior year, not when he was freaking whatever. 14. Yeah, I right. think it was his junior year, and he was already 18, which goes to show you how far behind he was in school. Right. And yeah. how intelligent he was. Well, <laughs> yeah. And the fact that Although he you know, does have fifteen million dollars. So well, that's uh, not that's, they got well, that's not a sign of YouTuber intelligence. YouTuber huh? Yeah, that's worth twenty six million. Don't I get mean, me don't get me started. We're, that's a whole other topic. They clearly gave because this dude doesn't make it to the NFL without these people. Just saying. Yep. Well, that's true. That is true. But there's 
two sides, and and if they did do what he says they did, imagine how terrible that would be. If you take this guy in off the street knowing that he's got talent and he's going to be a star, and you raise him your own and you say, oh, one day he's going to be a cash cow and we're going to just take all the money that he has, it's going to be great. If you did do that, that's a terrible, terrible thing to do. Do you think that that happened? I don't. I don't know what happened, but I think that it depends on when the truth comes out, and I'm sure that the truth will come. And I can't wait to see what it is. But uh, What kind of risk is that, though? I don't know. I wish I would have taken it. Right. Right. (laughs) You buy a lottery (laughs) ticket, you know what I mean? It's nothing, nothing, not, not really that big a deal. You're buying a lottery ticket and you putting money in, investing it in this young man. It's the same thing. I'm just yeah. saying they brought this kid into their house, not knowing much about him at all, except that his mom had done drugs and not knowing if he would even graduate high school, much less make it to the NFL. So you have to give him a little credit sure, at least for that. Sure, I think so. Both, both parties, parents and football player, are both millionaires, so f them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't give a crap about who tricked who into signing a piece of paper. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Just because people are rich, don't make them assholes. I want those problems. Uh, yeah, that's the no. problem I want. <laughs> I go think, go I go think, go sir, go it is your responsibility to prove me wrong because I guarantee I have never seen evidence of that. Well, this is what I promise you. I'm going to make this promise right here in front of the world and all 72,000 of our listeners. I'm going to promise you that if I ever win the Powerball, you will see a rich man who is not an asshole. Well, I promise you, if I become a rich asshole, I will definitely be an asshole. I will definitely fulfill... I will definitely fulfill the cliche. Yep. <laughs> you will you be won't. the asshole. Uh, so I, oh, yes, I will. In fact, well, you I, don't I, even have to be rich. You're already an asshole. That's well, true. <laughs> facts. Yeah, but that's not Big that's facts. not fulfilling the cliche about rich people. Right, right. So it's off topic. I will, it is, uh, yeah, no, it I is will, off topic. Uh, yeah, I, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Believe. Yes, it is. Speaking of topic. assholes. So you said you were going to tell us something about these Hollywood oh, strikes because yeah. here's the thing, in my opinion, I don't care, and I don't think anyone cares. Well, that's, that's that's an interesting. Well, point. Hollywood. That's cares. actually interesting. Actually, no, they don't. So, here's the thing: as a movie lover, you see, Bert, before, before I get into that, <clears throat> Wipe the I, there was a there was a time when I was a younger man, which was apparently a long time ago, according to my wife, Grandpa. Uh, you you could walk up to me at any given day. Even given time of the year, and say, "Hey, you want to go to the movies?" And I would say, "Yeah," because I knew that we could just randomly go, and there would definitely be at least one movie that'd be worth watching. And usually, there'd be more, multiple movies worth watching. You didn't have no idea what was playing, but if you just randomly went, you could find something that you would definitely enjoy. That is long gone. See, that I went to the gone. movies just to hook up with girls. Yeah, well. <laughs> Chris went to actually watch. Went to yeah, watch I went to watch movies. movies. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I was yeah, a nerd. I was a nerd. <laughs> so, for decades now, I have actually been hoping that this would happen to Hollywood, that it would just completely implode, because they don't deserve to be millionaires. They don't deserve to be millionaires. They, they, I agree. I watch, when I uh, buy a Blu-ray, I listen to the commentary, if there's a commentary on the track, all right? And um, so we have the movie Pleasantville, which is her movie. It's not my movie. <laughs> but uh, so I watched the commentary on it anyway because you know I like knowing about how movies are made. <clears throat> the guy who directed the movie, it, his his dad was a movie producer. I mean, it's all nepotism there, you know. And he was talking about the fact that uh, when he was growing up, and he found out that there was a large segment of the population that had to work hard all the time just so they could have a little bit of money was so alien to him. It blew his mind. He couldn't understand it because everybody he was around hardly worked at all and had lots of money. He's the guy saying this on the commentary, Mm -hmm. you know? And that just really sums up the mindset of Hollywood. They're so out of touch. They have no idea what's going on. And we there are millionaires for nothing, you know? And it would be different if I could use Hollywood as an escape from... The shitty circumstances that were happening in life. Oh, let me let me let me get away from what's happening right now. You know, but right. that that doesn't exist. No, that doesn't because exist. they bring so, it in. Right. So, fuck them. I'm glad that this is happening. I, 
I, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. I, what I want to happen is Hollywood just completely collapse and they have to start over from scratch. But that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Because the studio executives have said, openly said, that all they have to do is wait it out and eventually the writers and the actors will run out of money and they'll need to pay for food and rent and so they'll have to come back to them. Yeah, that is exactly that's, that's what's going to happen. That, that is, is exactly what's going to happen. Sure. And so now all the writers and actors are pissing and moaning on TV about how unfairly they're being treated. But the reason why you don't care and I don't care and basically nobody cares is because the work they've been doing for decades is shit. Mm -hmm. You know? They, yep. they, all the, every movie tells me I'm a Nazi and I'm a piece of shit, and I don't know how to vote, and I don't, you know, I don't know how to treat other people. Right. And so, fuck them. They can all burn. I don't care. <laughs> they can all not have jobs anymore. You know Come what I mean? Come on, San yep. Andreas. I mean, exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. Now, see, it's the end. If they really gave a shit, if the, if those people really gave a shit about the product and working in Hollywood and stuff, they would stop striking tomorrow, all get together, and start their own studio, and do it the right way. Hmm. Because A-list actors, there's enough of them. There's some of them, not all the A-list actors, but there's been some of them that's like, hey, this is wrong. We need to help right. you. Okay, well then use your pull and money to start another studio and then do it the way it should be done. Right. But that's not what they want. Right. They don't want it done the right way. They just want more money for, for creating crappy content. Right. That's all they want. Yeah, I, I get a chuckle every time I see it on the news or on social media or anywhere else when I see these actors standing out with picket signs. I just laugh. I get a big chuckle because I think pff, nobody cares, bro. You can stand out there with those signs until you fall yep. over and stomp to death. Nobody yep. cares. Yep. <laughs> there was an actress, I can't remember her name. <clears throat> I, she, I mean, she's not really famous, but I think if you saw her face, you know who she is. But she was complaining that... Uh, Bullock? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was complaining that she could star in like four episodes of a popular TV show in a year and not be able to afford health insurance. And I'll think myself, <laughs> won't you wait tables all year and not right. be able to afford right, health insurance? Right. Yeah, because no, we cannot afford it either. Yeah. And we bust our balls all year long. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, so that's, that's, see, that's where they're going wrong. The situations they're describing as unfair is a dream for, for the average person. As if, I, I, who, who do I have to kill to be in a movie? Nobody's right. putting me in a movie. Right. Right. Much less for me to complain about it. Right. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I don't care. I know that for, for sure. My opinion matters because it's mine. Sure. And I don't care what they have to say. I don't care what they're going through, and I don't care that they're standing on the street holding sticks in their hands. Right. I mean, I don't care. eventually they will have to pay for food, so they will go back to the movie studios. Right. I mean, that is 100%. And I can't wait for that day. And, and, I can't wait yep. till they get on their knees and crawl back to their masters yep. and say, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that I went on strike. Can I please have my job back? Yep. Because that's happening. I know. It's definitely right. happening. Right. Now let's make a movie about how Spider Man <laughs> hates black people. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, that's really all, that's all they do. So yeah. I could care less. Or that. let's make a movie that has traditionally Egyptian folks and let's make all of the characters Asian. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. But one of them has to be homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like legit, no, exactly. I that's how they're making yep. movies these days. Yep. And nobody cares. And I'm going to tell you, right. especially today, why nobody cares. In the day and age that we live in, there are people making content all over the planet, dude. Yeah. You don't have to watch movies anymore. That's there's right. YouTube. There's all kinds of streaming platforms. There's amateur people making content that's entertaining enough for you to entertain your mind with by themselves. Yep. This podcast, for example, is something that will entertain millions for years to come because we are just the greatest that ever has lived. So why do they need Hollywood writers? That's right. It's like they don't. Right? They don't need Hollywood. Writers. I mean, I'm just. I mean, just I have like I is. have plenty of great ideas for movies. I'm so. I'll, I mean, we could do so, that too. I mean, eventually. We have you know, done that. What I, yeah. what I don't, we have made it. What I don't know. Yeah, no. Yeah. What I don't understand is they're struggling to come up with a new good Star Wars movie. I have it. Why aren't you asking me? You know, this is your fault. This strike is happening because you didn't ask me. Well, they don't know that you know everything. Well, now they know. Chris well, made a movie they, in high what school you need about to a do. serial killer. <laughs> me and Chris made a police chase. A yeah. high action packed, high velocity was, police chase. We made that movie in Virginia. That's right. It was the best movie ever. The loss of that footage is the I greatest 
crime to mankind. It yeah, it's, because it's it gone. Because it would be it's so gone. great to upload that footage. Man, it would be so great. I wish we still had it. He made a movie in high school about a serial killer. Someone actually stabbing a box of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Fruit Loops? <laughs> what was the cereal? I can't remember. I did multiple. Because that's multiple. a tragedy. I did multiple boxes of cereal. I can't remember now what they all were. Frosted Flakes was one of them. I, I did remember. Yeah, that's Frosted Flakes. Probably yeah. a good Frosted victim. Flakes was one of them. Frosted <laughs> yeah, Flakes I, definitely I makes a good time. I can't job. remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was good times. But yeah. in general, the, the reality no. is nobody cares. No, that's right. Nobody cares. And that's, yep. the, I, I feel like we wasted too much time on it already. I think no, we need to no, move no. I think a lot of people don't even know. That they're on strike. Right. That's and they really. That's why we're to. here to That's fill people in on the news that they don't care about. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly why we exist. To tell you of things that you don't know that you don't need to know. <laughs> oh, for this one, you well, need okay. To. Yeah. So, so, so this one you need to know. We about. got a new topic. Yeah, we're gonna topic? switch. I don't know if you need to know about it, but you. I want think you do to need to know because it. you want no, to prevent this from happening. You, oh this yeah. Some yeah. crazy uh, shit. Yeah. I'm, I bet you that not a lot of people. This story. This story is what like a month old. Or, Man, I don't really know. Well, I think it's years old. It has it's already in trial. Okay, so it happened in February of 2022, I believe, is when it actually okay. happened. Yeah. Well, you told me about it about a month ago. But it yeah. just went yeah. to trial, uh, yeah, a couple of months and ago. And we've started watching court TV, which is something that nobody should ever look at, really. So we have a strange... Well, no, no, because this is a perfect <laughs> don't do drugs campaign. Yeah, and, and since I am so up on the news and I didn't know about this, I'm pretty sure that a lot of other people don't Here's know about bunch. it. So now that we've teased Comment it, below yeah, if you don't right, know yeah. about <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can right. keep track on other news stories you don't know about. Absolutely, absolutely. Do all of those things. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> The case Just say is, the name. Yeah, we need right. people to have the name. Right. It needs to be it's, clear. This is about a murder. Yes. And the person who committed the murder is a woman named Taylor Shabusiness. That's right. Which was a name that was not given to her. She chose this name. Shabusiness. What was yes. her, her? Well, no, I wouldn't say she chose it exactly, but uh, kind yeah. of. Yeah, no, she yeah, completely she So she married a guy. Yeah. His last name was Shabow. Or Chabot, something like that. Yeah. And he was a drug dealer. And, of course, that wasn't a cool name. So he went by the name Shabusiness. Well, that was Taylor, his drug dealer name. That, yeah. Right, that was his drug dealer, his street name. Right. Well, let me holler at Shabusiness. <laughs> well, his wife Taylor liked it so much, she legally changed her name to be Taylor Shabusiness. Right. And for the people who are going to be Googling that, it's S-C-H-A business. That's right. how it's spelled. Correct. Okay, so let's get to what she did. because <laughs> It's gross. Prepare yourself. If there are children in the room, they really should leave now. Yes. And Reagan can explain all of it. No, no. Why does Reagan get this plan? This is awesome. Is this is I want. Because Reagan's been invested was actually, in this for so long. Oh, Reagan and Bodie. The owner of this is me. She was at a hair appointment when I told her. Okay, about all right. It. So well, let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. <laughs> Taylor Shabusiness. I don't know how you want to start it because it's such a story. No, I just start, want to lead in. Okay, with I'll, lead in, I'll lead into. I'll lead into. No, no. I'll lead start into with the, the mom. Uh, well, no, no. I'm gonna lead into the crime, and then you can give the details of the crime. One. So, okay. this woman is a huge drug addict. Meth, right? Yeah. Well, it's okay. Meth, 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 primarily. Meth, 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 primarily. Yeah. meth primarily. So. She's uh, at her friend's house, this guy who lives with his parents, lives in the basement. So she's downstairs in the basement with this guy. They're smoking weed, doing meth, and then take it away. Yeah. I think you got to start with the mom. Well, I disagree. What do you mean? The, you, the mom... Wait. That's like the no, next no, that's, day. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That's like the next tell, day. Tell, yeah, yeah. Wait, tell what happened, and then the mom will just organically come so, to yeah. the store. So eventually... She says in her interview with police after the event, she says, now, everybody needs to know that she killed her boyfriend. And I think the boyfriend's name is, what is it, Shad or something? Some some other drug dealer name. It's really... Shad Th Threaten. Yeah. Shad is his name, like a fish. And so she kills him. Okay? 
Well, wait, wait, wait. You don't want to tell me? No, no. Uh, oh, okay. We need to okay. the details right. of the murder okay. first. We need to know the decline hey, the is details murder. are great. Right? I, I was we actually, really should discuss I was, this I was actually, I was actually lying in bed last night thinking, oh, I can't wait to talk about this. So <laughs> The crime is murder. She kills the guy. She says that there were more than just her and the boyfriend in the basement at one time. They were all smoking, having a party, listening to music, doing drugs. Everybody leaves but her and the boyfriend. And she says the boyfriend put his collar on so she knew what time it was. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, and she told this to the police in interview. He put his collar on so she knew it was a time to get to work. Yes, a, a dog, dog collar, collar with a chain. Spikes, you know, yeah. Like, chain. Yeah. Yeah. chain. Yeah, and a chain. Right. So, you want to tell them how it continued to progress? You want to talk about the mother and how she woke up the next day? Okay, so the mom is upstairs in the house with her boyfriend in bed around 2.30 in the morning, and she hears a door slam. And she thinks, that's probably Taylor. Let me go see what's going on. It's 2.30 in the freaking morning. Or her son, the fish. Right. Shed. So she opens the basement door, maybe hollers out, doesn't get a response. So she starts walking down the basement stairs and sees a bucket with a towel thrown over it. And just something tells her she should lift up this cat. And it's her son's head. In the bucket. In the bucket. Just the head. Well, actually, it was also his penis, but I don't think she saw the penis no, at the she time. Did not she see saw the, the head. So she just tells Just like me, I've never seen my own penis. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I wish I could say the same thing. <laughs> no, about, you don't. About no, your you don't. penis, but <laughs> So she tells her boyfriend. <laughs> Chad's head is in the bucket, call 911. So the boyfriend literally is calling 911 and saying, oh my God, I don't know what's happening. My girlfriend is saying her son's head is in a bucket in the basement. So they send some cops over. These two cops go into the basement. One looks in the bucket and says, oh my God, dude, is this real? Yeah, they this didn't This can't know. be real. They didn't know if it was real or not. Yeah, they're like, this cannot be real. The other guy walks to the bucket and goes, oh my God, that's real. That's real, bro. That's a real head. So <laughs> that's how the crime scene was discovered. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to go into detail? Oh, the or? best part about it is the interview with the police detectives. Once they get her arrested and cuffed up, she's laughing. Like, when they went into the house to the crime scene after they arrested her, it's all on body cam, and you can actually watch this online if you guys are interested. They they asked her if there was anyone else in the house, and she said, yeah, I think so-and-so is downstairs or whatever. And so the police officer, typical police, trying to make sure that police, you know, officer safety and everything, they wanted to know if anybody was armed with a firearm or anything in the house. So they said, do you know if he's armed? And she laughed. Like, she literally laughed. She just cut this dude's head off and his penis off. And he says, is anyone in the house armed? And she laughed because she knew that the dude didn't have no arms. She cut him off of him, which I thought was this woman's psycho. So anyway, in the interview with the detectives, they start asking her about all of the things that she did. And Chris is the expert on those things. Tell us about those things, Chris. So... The reason why he had the collar on with the dog chain was because he liked to get choked right. while they're having sex. Sure. So she's, you know, getting him aroused, choking him a little bit, and she decides, man, I really like choking him. So she really starts choking him. And I'm, I'm fairly certain he was trying to say the safe word when he realized how far she was going. He was probably going, but Actually, he turned purple and was so, coughing blood. Well, so well, she I'm sure, I'm, well, I'm sure at some point <laughs> he tried, he tried to, to stop it. Yeah. But, she, but, she, but she couldn't understand him, so she just kept going. Oh, more? Tighter? Gotcha. Yes. And so, she told the detectives in the interview that they liked asphyxiation, and it just got a little out right, of hand. That's right. what she said. So that she, was her experience. Right. So and she, she liked it so much she couldn't stop right. it. Right. So she kills him before they actually start having sex. This was foreplay. So she chokes him out. He is dead. So she decides, this is kind of cool. So she puts him in the bed, cuddles with him for a little while. Touches him. Right. Yeah, that's, then this is when it starts to get weird. Okay. Now we're really diverse. So then she uh, starts to have uh, all sex yes. with him. Not with him. With his corpse. Well, well with his corpse. Yes, with his corpse. She likes that. 
So uh, she got off with that a little bit, and then she um, started cutting off things. She cut off his penis. She cut off his arms and his legs and his head. Mm -hmm. She collected the blood, took a shower with it. Uh, She took out his organs. She took out his organs. She... Did she use his penis? Did she insert his penis? Or? I don't I know. Can't, she, I they can't didn't remember. say exactly what, but she, she did. She did some things with yeah, his penis. They asked yeah. her that in the interview, yeah. but because she is so crazy and psychotic, that the, I don't know if the answer was really clear, but it seemed like she had done some things with his unit. Right, and yes. she liked his head and then his head so much. That she, wanted to, both, she, both yeah, she, she wanted to keep both she heads. She wanted to keep both heads. So she heads. kept both heads in a bucket. She thought that was the coolest part, I guess. So I think that's why why she left him in the uh, left him in the basement. When she no, the, she put the head and the penis in right, a bucket in, a in bucket. the back of the car, right? No, no, no. no, no it was in the no, basement. The no, no, other that part. Yeah, yeah. She the took car. the other parts. In the crock pot box. And she, yes. Yeah, she put some of them in a crock pot box and some other things. She, she put them in a van to, I guess, to go dispose of them. But she wanted to keep the head. Well, she got lazy. Yes. Yeah. So she forgot the bucket. Well, I don't know if that's true. Well, that's what I, I she kinda, said. Yeah, she said it, I know, she said I know. It herself. But I kind of got the impression that she wanted to, to keep those. Now, did you know that um, she went upstairs and got knives to cut him up with? And in her opinion, bread knife is the best knife yeah. to, and she, she to gave cut that up a body. Pointer, just in case anybody's wondering, if you're trying to cut up a body... Taylor Your Business says that a right. serrated bread knife... Which you shouldn't the, do. <laughs> which, by the way, you right. should not cut up no, bodies. You should absolutely never cut <laughs> let's up not, bodies. Let's but not we will put a link down below for our favorite bread knife. If you... <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, by the way. We have no links. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got that sweet, sweet bread knife sponsorship yet. Right. So we're not, we're not, we're not gonna... I got some calls in the Hibachi and uh, yeah, some other We're things. not going to throw out any bread knife names until we get that money. <laughs> right, that right. Money. <laughs> and look, we make fun of this whole thing. It's a really tragic situation. Can you imagine being the mother and going downstairs in your own home and seeing your own child's head in a bucket? To me, that would be absolutely tragic. And I can't, I feel the worst, I feel the worst for the mother, honestly, because the dude should have known that this woman was straight retarded. Right. From the jump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he should have been, oh, can I not say the word retarded? That's right. That's the R word. That is the R word. I I don't know if if you're aware of that, but that word is not He should have known she was straight crazy or Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's someone, okay, I'm done. Okay. Anyone who relates to crazy, I Unhinged. have to argue with that word. But actually, <laughs> <laughs> I I think she had two children. Those who are the people that... Who had two children? She business. <laughs> she actually, had little she businesses? <laughs> actually, actually, I feel like the guy who got his penis cut off suffered the most. No, he but, didn't. <laughs> He's the straight crazy one. Well, yeah. He, he on should have recognized that and took off running in the other direction as fast as he could and you, never looked back. You know what the, That's what he should have done. You know done. what the first red flag was that he probably shouldn't have let he this woman He put a collar start? on his neck. No, nope. her last name was Shabusiness. <laughs> right. That was the right. first clue. Something's not right. And yeah. she was, she and was she's married. Married to a person in prison. Right. That she loved so much she took the name of. That's not even his name. And apparently like, there there's just... so many red flags, dude. This shad fella. Should have been running as fast as he could. Well, first of all, they weren't even in a relationship. They were right. friends with benefits. Well, of course. So, with you know what? strange ass benefits. You think there was ever a time when they were smoking dope and she was like, you ever wonder what it would be like to choke somebody out and then cut them all up? She may have been. You know? would have been I'm, like, yeah, let's yeah. check that out. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Y'all are forgetting the best part. So, she tried to, you know, plead insanity. And that did not go well, even though we all know she is cuckoo. Because oh, before... I don't know if you can say cuckoo. Yes, I can. <laughs> we don't like birds. So anyway, before the actual murder took place, she had been Googling Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, oh yeah. she was, Oh, she wanted to eat him. Didn't she say that? Well, she wanted to oh, eat I think so. You're she right. I think she, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no you she, I'm thinking of the crock pot. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, oh, we already had this conversation. Pot. You said, yeah, yeah. he was going to eat them. Because yeah, yeah. they said she put his parts in the yeah, crock pot box. box. Not in the crock pot. And I thought she put them yeah. in the crock pot. Although, like she was if she was looking up Jeffrey Dahmer, she very well may have been thinking about it, though. But I have to say, you really, really want to do yourself a favor. 
and Google this woman and watch just any segment of her in court because that is the creepiest thing you will ever see in your life. Every time they talked about the murder or his body parts or anything, this woman had this creepy smirk on her face. And I'm telling you, she is evil. Oh, oh crazy. You can say that word, crazy, because well, she is crazy. Certifiable, even. And I think a lot of that in court, though, was to play to the jury because she was doing the insanity defense. Yeah, right? So she wanted to lawyer, appear more yeah. crazy than she yeah. is, which I think is virtually impossible. Right. You can't appear more I, crazy than this I don't man. believe in the insanity defense myself. No? No. I'm very, I'm very strict on so, crime. So tell us about that. <laughs> Look, let's explore those I have, feelings. I have a you want to lay down on the I, sofa, get you a tissue? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just don't believe in the insanity defense because it allows a lot of people to skate on what would otherwise be a harsh punishment. Of course, that's what they do. And I am all for harsh punishment on crime. You know? So if someone I is mean, truly insane, yep, and they commit a crime such as this, yep, you say kill them anyway. Exactly. Yep. In fact, not only am I for the death penalty, I'm actually for beyond the death penalty. My idea, listen up. Eye listen, for an eye. Listen up. Oh, yeah. Listen up, judicial system, because this is going to really help cut down on crime. I'm going to get you a t-shirt. It's so, <laughs> going to say, I right. know everything. So that, Can't well, wait to get it. I just have a lot of answers. That's all I'm saying. I, just have, I have a lot of things figured out. I love it. All right. So my clearly, the death penalty does not deter crime. But what if, let's say a person raped and killed your wife, okay? And... I mean, you know 100% they absolutely, definitely did it. There's no question this is a guilty person. I don't think you should give him a death penalty at, per se. I think what you should do is, as an option for the family, if they choose this route, you can just hand them over that person and then tell them, hey, enjoy yourself. Get some closure. Call us if you need us to pick up the body or if there's anything left. And what happens when that family says... We've had enough tragedy. We're just going to cut them loose back into the world. Well, then that's whenever you just... Uh, no, 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 no. No, I mean, as you said, you were going to give them to the family to do as they wish. Yeah. No, so no, not to cut him loose well, back into the no, world. No, not, not to cut back loose. Not to cut back loose to get some closure, if you feel, <laughs> if you feel me. Well, did you see that, um, and I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but that doctor that molested all those gymnasts? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And one guy that spoke up for the uh when they give the witness oh, declarations yeah. uh -huh. or whatever <clears throat> this guy had three daughters who had been molested by this man mm -hmm. so he gets up to say his witness declaration and he tells the judge can i have five minutes in a exactly. room yep. exactly exactly and then he tried to talk her down what about one minute in a room and then he tried to attack the guy yeah, because jump across the yeah. table at him. He, oh yeah i remember know, that yeah, he I was like that. just please i just need that time with him well see mm -hmm. that is the exact kind of person that this new law would, ap <laughs> would apply to is that well, the, the dad who shot and i mother? guarantee you that if that was something that happened so, Criminals were going, you know what? I don't know if I want to spend two weeks in the basement of some guy, you know, after I raped his wife. I, right. I think that would cut down on Well, I, mean, I think it would. The death penalty is pretty harsh. Yeah, but the it? death penalty is no. not really harsh. No, because it isn't, all, because it takes 50 years. Yeah, it takes 50 years, and then, and then they're you. like, not in we're going we're gonna to inject you with a drug that's just going to make you go to sleep. No, no, I'm all for hangings, bringing bought back. Uh, the electric fi chair. Firing right? squads, bringing bought back, because I would be on a firing squad. You know, If they want volunteers, I'll be on one. I well, totally think that we should get biblical on people. Exactly. I think we should go eye for an eye. If yep. you cut off a man's pee pee, then guess what, buddy? Your yep. punishment is no more pee pee. Yep. Here comes the guillotine. Snippity snip snip. Yep. That's the way I think that it would work. Because then you wouldn't hey. want to do nothing to other people that you wouldn't want to have done. That's to right. You. That's right. We might create a whole new bunch of fetish people though. You know, and for all of the for everybody out there is gonna go, What about the people who are innocent? Hey, that sucks for them. Stop. Very few people are very few people nowadays are innocent and then actually convicted of crime. So that small portion of the population is gonna to have to suffer, but this is the way to go. It is it, it could happen to you though. It could it happen to you. It could well then that you're innocent. I'm like, well I asked for this. So Yeah, yeah, it's your yeah, law. It. Yeah. Well other law. countries right. don't have the crime like we have it because yeah. they enforce you know the why? freaking rules. Yeah, that's right.
Because exactly they still right. have the firing squad. That's, That's exactly why right. they put people in front well, of Well, no, you steal in another country, that, they, they cut, cut your hand. You cut off your hand, yep. Mm-hmm. And then when you think about stealing, you just look at your little nub and you yep. think, yeah, I want this hand. Well, yep. let's not try to be other countries. Okay. I'm not trying it's to be other countries, sometimes but they sometimes got it down third there. world countries, I don't no, want no. them in. Although, like, f- in. for example, Singapore doesn't have a drug problem. You know why? Because they killed them all. Yeah. Anybody who dealt drugs, you, they got killed. Dead. Yep. Done. So, so I'm just we saying, we that's a nice example. would have half the country. For well, okay, no, Andrew would. really has no, been waiting would. to oh. say something. <clears throat> so, speaking of eye for an eye, we've actually watched a video of this. It's the dad is, there. this guy still stole his son like kidnapped his son he's from louisiana his name is leon ploche and his son was kidnapped by his karate teacher he was raped and killed by the karate teacher in los angeles so when they brought him back to louisiana for trial the guy is on his way he got convicted he's on his way out the dad is on the se- the telephone Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he yeah. walks up and he shoots the man in the head. Like, just. As he walks by. And local news crew yep. caught him on yep. camera doing it. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, eye for an eye that he's talking But it isn't really. It's because not, that because that's not an eye for an eye. 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 But I mean, but he took the law into his hands. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but the guy got an easy death. Actually, that guy didn't even see that death coming and he was dead. Yep. Actually, that, that, that would be an easy thing to enforce. They could just take that guy to jail, throw him loose in the shower, and say, okay, guys. You make him pay in the way that you would naturally do, and then you get six months off your sentence. <laughs> right. That but guy, good behavior. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Jeffrey Dahmer. He didn't last long in jail, nope. and he didn't like it because nope. they fucking gave it to it's him. Crazy. Oh, easy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, they. <laughs> but I mean, that is. No, yes. Like, it should be no, like that. I mean, that's exactly yes. right. Yes. But see, I would have it differently. If that guy was, was somebody who offended one of my children in that manner, I would want to do the same thing right. to him with a splintered broomstick. That's Damn. how I would do it. Woof. I would broomstick him yep. until he yep. had every splinter and in every inch of his sphincter. Right. That's how that works. Yep. And I think that you get the same feeling that you were trying to give to someone else. I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to let you experience what right. you put me, what, what you put my child through. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure Jeffrey Dahmer did not go like he wanted. Sweetly into that. You mean, oh, yeah, you mean stabbed to death? Yeah, I don't think he wanted that. No, he, You're didn't, right. he didn't want to uh, be shivved. No. Nope. You know, yep. I wonder if he was eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he was. I don't think he was. Because, see, that would have been that true been, poetic. Yeah. Nobody wants tainted meat. Yeah. <laughs> tainted? <laughs> what, because, because he's a cannibal, I guess he's tainted. So you want to talk about Because he's a sicko. <laughs> he's a sicko. Or was a sicko. Oh, that's it, what I wanted to say when you first brought up Jeffrey Dahmer. Taylor Shabiznis actually has pictures on her social media, which may have been taken down by now if you're Googling and looking, of her and a cardboard cutout of Jeffrey Dahmer. So, like, she wow. apparently held the guy as some type of hero. Well. She definitely went down the path. Yep. So sure now did. it's going to be, uh, do we know? I know she was found guilty, but I don't know. Sentencing is in September. Yeah. So right. she still hasn't been sentenced. Right, tune back in. And a lot of that insanity <laughs> well, uh, stuff is going to come into right. play for the yep. sentencing So hearing. we'll see how that No, it out. won't. Because they found they her found not, not guilty, guilty by, okay. but not right. for insanity. Yep. Right. right, but it's they still are going to take that into consideration for sentencing. The, the, the insanity defense is going to be right. heard in the right. hearings. Her lawyer is going to say, Your Honor, she's crazy. She did do this crime. But we need to seek mental treatment, not the death penalty or whatever it is that you're offering. We need that's what we want. Yeah, but the trial, they she was saying she did it. Yes, she did. But she was saying she did it because she was insane. And the jury said, No, she's guilty because she's sick. Right. Not insane. Right. So I don't see how the insanity could come into the sentencing. Because that's how the law works. Yeah, because the law is goofy. So That's why I had to come up with my law. To Chris's circum- law. Yeah, <laughs> Chris's right. law. That's what I hope they call it. Oh, 1.0. It'd be a dream of mine. That would be, yeah. Okay. But then it could be anybody. You know, Chris right. Christopherson. <laughs> no, it ain't Chris Christopherson. He ain't for that, I promise you. That old, that liberal 
reach out. Oh, you can't say that word. <laughs> no, you, you can't, can't say, say that, that word. I apologize. I word. apologize for my colleague yes. putting that word out there. So today's episode is brought to you by the letter R and the number 69. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get to the uh, uh, toward the end of the episode here. Let's get to the uh, movie recommendation. Well, first, I want to oh, hear. Nope, let's hear it. Oh yeah, that's right. Random, 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 random thoughts. Random thought of you know, day. let's do. I want to explain what this is. See, my wife tends to think of things that are completely off the wall, that make absolutely no sense, and they are something that the normal person would probably never contemplate. And I think that they're quite funny. So she's going to share them with us. And today, she has an extra special one for us today. What is your random thought of the day? Well, first of all, I don't know how no one else has ever thought of this because it happens all the time. I'm on the phone, and it says, press 1 for English. And I'm in America where the language is English. So if I go to France, do I have to press 1 for French? And if I go to Spain, do I have to press 1 for Spanish? Well, the answer to that is we. Oui. And see. <laughs> we and see. Very good. Very good. I love it. So, yeah, you do. Good job. Well done. The things that my wife thinks about. That's it. So, movie. Okay, so the movie this week is a comedy. Uh, it's, it's actually a star-studded comedy. It was made in 1999. Star-studded cast. Nobody knows about it. And for a while, it was very difficult. It was very difficult to get on right. DVD. It's a great movie. It's a, it's a great movie. Nobody, nobody knows, knows about. It is. It is nobody ever heard of this it's called, movie. It's, it's the called best a movie ever. It's called a hidden gem, and that's why a I'm here to gym. let people know about it. Okay. All right. The movie is called Two Hundred Cigarettes. All right. I'm gonna give you a, a list of some of the people in this movie. I think I saw this movie. You probably did. I probably told you to watch it. I think so. So it stars. You didn't like it. Ben and Casey. Ben and Casey Affleck. Dave Chappelle, Paul Rudd, Christina Ricci, Janine Garofalo, Jay Moore, Kate Hudson, Martha Plimpton, Courtney Love, and a bunch of other people I didn't feel like writing down their names. Okay, yeah, Courtney thank Love. God, because yeah. I was You're putting her. Courtney Love in that? What, that what, I need what to was watch the name it? of the... No, I didn't, I didn't say you need What's to watch it because Courtney, Courtney Love? Love was in it. I just yeah, said that you, she is in it. What, yeah, well, that's What's the not guy? a selling point. Elvis Costello. Oh, Elvis Costello's in it. Yeah. So, the movie takes place in the 80s, and... Uh, the plot is that um, it's New Year's, and uh, Martha Plimpton wants to throw a New Year's party in her apartment, and so she's like, it's her stress for the whole day, trying to you know get everything organized. She wants to be a big blowout, and so the basically the the plot of the movie is throughout that whole day, her trying to get the party going, and then all the people who are invited to the party, them trying to get to the party or trying to find dates. Cause nobody wants to go to a party without a date, so it's a, so it's a lot of like you know relationship stuff. Uh, it's a it you know it's funny. It, yeah, it's it's hilarious. The movie is completely hilarious. Dave Chappelle, I love Dave such, Chappelle. Yeah, he, he's not love. in it a whole lot, but man, every scene he's in is just yeah. He's the greatest. Yeah, he's. The I best. was really sad when the Chappelle show went all day. I know, me too. Yeah, that man. first season is just comedy gold. He's that first just season, so funny, yep. dude, so hilarious. So, 200, 200 cigarettes. cigarettes. 200 cigarettes, All right. yep. Why not 180 cigarettes? Or, you know. Well, because they kept smoking. Oh. After they got to 180, they kept going. What happened so, when they got to 200? Why didn't they? The movie this? was over. <laughs> <laughs> they rolled the credits. The movie so, was over at 200. I think there might be a 201st cigarette at the end of the credit <laughs> sequence. I'm Is not sure. there? 201? <laughs> no, nowadays that there would be. That's like the number of Dalmatians. <laughs> no. No, that's 101. not 201. No, 100. 101. 101. <laughs> you remember when my wife was crazy about Dalmatians? Yeah, I do. She had a Dalmatian that was mentally handicapped. <laughs> oh, now you would. Why you didn't tell me that word earlier? Now, now you're coming up with. I think in that instance you could actually say retarded. I think that dog no, was can't. retarded. Yeah, I, I think it's Chris's can. fault. He was. Against the rules. He was. The public. Opinion. Not if it's. If it's actually retarded. I don't care. That doesn't exist anymore. That's no, not a thing. That's the R word. That that's is right. the R word. Ask the Jennifer court of Aniston. public opinion will yep. cancel you. But, you know, we, you know how we feel about the court of public opinion. That's right. Tell her how we feel. Take Fuck. your opinion and shut your ass. <laughs> right. Right. All right. I think we uh, talked enough for this week. Oh, yeah. So, but don't forget okay. to like and subscribe. <laughs> Comment down below. Right. And tell us all the things. Don't forget that. 
notification bell so you know right. whenever we post next week. And if we post a video of me putting on a spiky collar, just mind your business. <laughs> just, just listen for that safe word. Right. Banana. Banana. <laughs> banana. And that's, that's if you're into things, fetishes and whatnot that involve bananas, we recommend not using banana. <laughs> that's a whole other conversation. Maybe we'll get into that next week. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Podcasters out. Out.